We at Samsung Mobile have just introduced the Galaxy Note 3 along with the Galaxy Gear and we would like to take you through a first quick look at some of the key features. So let's first start with the Galaxy Note 3. The Galaxy Note 3 features a 5.7 inch Full HD Super AMOLED display that provides a stunning and defined viewing experience with a distinct clarity. But what's really nice is that even with this new larger screen, it's very light and has a very nice slimmer design that feels very comfortable when you hold it. So while the screen itself got bigger with more space to work on, it remained comfortable to hold. In addition to the powerful technological advancements, it delivers a new premium look and feel such as this warm and textured back cover and delicate stitching that feels like classic notebooks and planners. The Galaxy Note 3 will be available in multiple color options, including classic white and jet black. So let's check out a video to see this viewing experience. I can open up one right here. I'll select this to view. And what we can see is the great detail and clarity of the Galaxy Note 3. Additionally, it's powered by a 2.3 GHz quad-core processor, 3 GB of RAM that comes with a 32 GB or 64 GB of storage, 3200 mAh battery, and is running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. Being productive in everyday life on the Galaxy Note 3 has become even easier and more intuitive. A lot of this is due to our enhanced S Pen, a key differentiator for the Galaxy Note category of devices. We've introduced a new feature called Air Command, where you can access five useful functions at the click of the S Pen button, anywhere, anytime, without having to memorize or search. Simply hover the S Pen on the screen and click the pen button, and there we go. That's called the air command. From here, you can access Action Memo, Scrapbooker, Screen Write, S Finder, and lastly, Pen Window feature. So Action Memo is a pop-up window that lets you write a memo anywhere on the screen. You can move it around and minimize it and go about your day-to-day -day task and relaunch it when you need it. Let's say I wrote down a phone number very quickly, but I forgot to save it because I was too busy. I'll click the link to action button right here and save it to contacts just like so. There you go. There's a name and a number and save directly into contacts. And let's say I want to call the number. I'll select the action button again, and then I'll click on the phone icon right here. And it's going to call the number right away. Other features include call, save to contacts, send messages, send email, search web, look up an address on the map, and save a to-do task. Let me bring up an address that I wrote down earlier from the list of memos. Instead of typing in the entire address again in the Maps application, what you can do is just click the Action button and it will launch Maps and show you the location just like so. The next feature that I'm going to show you is the scrapbook. So say I'm looking through a blog here and came across a post that I really like and want to keep it. But I don't want to keep all the information, but just these parts here. I'll just hover the S Pen on the screen and launch the air command and go into Scrapbooker. I'll just mark the area that I want to keep. Since it doesn't fall into any existing categories, I'll click the Create Category button and create a new one called Galaxy Note 3. And as easy as that, 
the information will be saved into the category that I just created. Now, you can also collect YouTube videos and save it into a scrapbook. So let's say I came across a YouTube video on snowboarding tips that I want to keep. So once again, I'll launch the air command and go into a scrapbooker. And I'll mark the video like so. I'll put this into a category called snowboarding and I'll also add a memo like so and save it. Now let's see how all the information that I collected in scrapbook looks. So here are all my categories and I'll go into the Galaxy Note 3 category and you can see the post that I just collected. And if I want to go to the original link, I can either click on the URL or click the button up here and it will take me to the original page. I can also check the YouTube video that I collected with a memo I wrote down. What's great is that if I press the play button, it will play the video right within the scrapbook so I don't need to go to the original YouTube page by switching screens. So let me show you how you can use this feature called the new Easy Clip. I've been looking up some information on clothes to buy for myself and I think this is possibly a nice pair of pants that will look good on me. So I'll trace right around it using the S Pen. Now with the new Easy Clip, I can neatly crop out exactly what is needed. And then I'm going to save it to scrapbook and put it into my fashion category. So now I'll go into my scrapbook and this is where I've been storing all sorts of items I found for myself. The next feature is the S Finder which lets you accurately and expansively search for contents in your phone. So let's say I want to look for pictures that I took in Berlin during my vacation. So again, I'll launch the air command and go into the S Finder. I'll type in Berlin and you can see that it brings up various search results ranging from photos, videos, S notes, action memos and more. But I can't seem to find the pictures that I'm looking for so I'm going to select past seven days to narrow down the search results and voila! I just found the pictures that I was looking for easily using the S Finder. Another cool feature that we have is a feature that lets you search within help and settings. Let's say I want to activate Bluetooth on my phone, but I'm not really sure where to find the settings menu. I'll search for Bluetooth and I can easily find the settings menu and I can even turn it on within the S Finder. It's just easy as that. Now, let me introduce you to our new version of the S Note. The new improved S Note presents a comprehensive solution that lets you to easily write, organize, and edit with a simple user interface. You can also preview a lot more information by dragging down a note and easily look through all your pages. Now let's say I want to edit this page right here, so let me bring up my S Pen. You don't have to delete and rewrite the notes in order to edit, but you can select the button right here and circle the area that you want to rearrange and just simply move it to where you want it to be, just like so. I can also convert handwritten shape and text easily into perfect ones at the same time, just like so. Very simple, very easy to use. Now another interesting feature we're introducing is called Easy Chart. Let me open up a page and show you how easy it is to draw and edit a pie chart. You can easily create perfect charts like this using the Easy Chart feature. 
you can simply draw a line to divide just like so. And also, you can edit information by just writing down on the chart. You can also change this into different types of charts such as bar chart, line graph, or a table. I can also add in more information just by drawing on the graph itself. The new S note can also be synced with Evernote or a Samsung account. You will also be able to perform a more powerful multitasking by fully utilizing a larger screen. I found some nice items that I like, but I can't quite make up my mind, so I would like to ask for a second opinion on which item to purchase. So what I'm going to do is launch chat on from the multi-window tray and ask one of my friends, Karen, for her thoughts. Now, when you tap the split bar here, these icons such as switch application, switch window, drag and drop content, and close application will appear. Now I'm going to select the drag and drop content icon and send these screen captured images straight from the website to my friend on Chatham. I'll also send over mm, this back here. You can also launch same application simultaneously on two different windows. For example, here I can launch two chat on apps simultaneously and easily send off information that I received from a friend that could be useful for my coworker with a simple drag and drop, just like so. Another cool feature that I want to show you for enhanced multitasking is a pen window feature. So say I'm looking through my email and I open up this one here that I got from my coworker and want to do a quick calculation of their revenues for the past three years. So I'm going to launch air command and select pen window. Then I'll simply draw a window of any size anywhere on the screen and this will bring up various applications. I'll click the calculator app and move it up a bit and I'll start typing these numbers, which are the revenues for the past three years. And add them all up. And when I'm done, I can just close the window and carry on reading the email. Along with the Galaxy Note 3, we've also introduced a wearable companion device, the Galaxy Gear, which allows you to stay connected to your Galaxy devices without having to check them constantly. The Galaxy Gear has a metal front, built-in camera, and a speaker, which are nicely put together with a refined design approach, which makes it a perfect companion device to your Galaxy devices. Also, its rounded and simple flowing form that wraps around the body allows you to stay comfortable at all times. The Galaxy Gear combines smart device connectivity, stylish design, and tailored technological features such as its 1.63 inch Super AMOLED display as a single premium accessory. So here, let me show you how you can customize the settings of the Galaxy Gear through this app called the Gear Manager installed on my Galaxy Note 3. As you can see, the Galaxy Gear is connected to my Galaxy Note 3 via Bluetooth and from the Gear Manager, I can customize its various settings ranging from the clock options to controls for favorite apps and features. For example, let's check out how to personalize the watch face. You'll see an array of clock options and you can change and customize to the one that you prefer, like so, and this will instantly be reflected on your Galaxy Gear. Also, you can change the order of your favorite apps from this menu called My Apps. Now, I want the camera app to show first right after the notification app, so I'll move it up a bit and also move up the S Voice app, like so. 
Let me save this. And as you can see, the changed order of my favorite apps has been reflected on my Galaxy Gear instantly, like so. So here, I just received a message from a friend, and I can instantly check the message on my Galaxy Gear by simply touching the screen. Now, I receive another message from Frank. I can check the message on here, but I want to do so on my Galaxy Note 3. So I'll simply pick up my Note 3, and instantly the full message will be displayed using the Smart Relay feature. Now with the Galaxy Gear's built-in speaker, I can send and receive calls without having to go through the trouble of holding a mobile phone. So Karen is calling me, and I'll receive the call on my Galaxy Gear by swiping the screen. Hey Karen. If you wish to continue to speak on your mobile phone, you can easily do so by clicking here. What time's the dinner tonight? I'll see you at 7. You can also go back to the Galaxy Gear, just like so. I can also make calls by speaking to the device using the S voice without touching the screen. Call Frank. And as quick and easy as that, I can call Frank without having to call touch the Frank screen Davis. or hold the device. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Frank. Another cool feature is called Mammographer. This feature is powered by a camera built into the device, which you see right here. And you can create quick visual records of important information or instances without taking out your mobile phones. I can simply swipe through and activate the camera app to take a quick snapshot of the notes written on the board in front of me. You can also record a video by changing the mode from up here, but for now, I'll just take a picture by touching the screen, like so. Let's go to the gallery and check out the picture that I just took. What's cool is that this will be automatically saved into the gallery of my Galaxy Note 3, or I can manually transfer it, just like so. So thank you for watching! This has been the first hands-on video for the new Galaxy Note 3 and the Galaxy Gear. Please stay tuned for more information at the Samsung Mobile YouTube channel.